Here she is, big time feel. No surprise there, the UFC Hall of Famer and former women's bantamweight champion, the great rowdy Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey is a box office hit. Every time her name sits the top of the marquee, the stars come out. Yes. From her UFC debut with the quick submissions to Jean LaBelle standing next to the octagon with the timer. Everything was always a spectacle, and Ronda had the skills to back it up. I remember being at weddings and bar mitzvahs back in 2011, getting texts from guys like Sean Shelby. Dude, you gotta see what Ronda Rousey just did, and it didn't take her long to enter the mainstream, successfully defended the title several times. Ronda Rousey, back and perhaps with a point to prove her to Rowdy Ronda Rousey steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. champion Holly Holm. It was Melbourne, Australia. It was UFC 193, November 15th of 2015, when Holly Holm effectively changed her life. Holly Holm changed her life, but she changed the landscape of mixed martial arts. Yes. She showed that Ronda Rousey was not this unbeatable fighter that everybody thought she was to be. Went out there, set her traps with that lead left hand, used her footwork and movement to walk Rousey right into a beautiful head kick that finished the fight. A multiple time boxing champion, amateur kickboxer background, Holly Holm is shooting some professional. And that Rousey win still one of the biggest upsets, betting odds or otherwise, in the UFC history. for this, our main event of the evening. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC women's back and weight champion of the world and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC Women's Back and Weight Champion of the World, Holly the Preacher's Daughter, Paul! Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this one. Ready. Good. While she draws rave reviews for her work ethic, for her conditioning, you know about the boxing accolades for the International Boxing Hall of Famer, Holly Holm, Kickboxing heavy attack though in the UFC, and that figures to be the approach in this matchup tonight. Big power shot there. All right, so with immediacy, the jiu-jitsu fighter closes the distance and gets her to the clinch. This is exactly where the kickboxer did not want to be early in this fight. No, she wanted space, she wanted distance, she wanted to, she wanted it to be clean. This clinch position is anything but clean. And right now, she is exactly where she needs to be. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Straight left counter finds the target. You rip the body there. Right 
right to the single collar. She was able to close the distance, and now she's in her position. Well, she connected there nicely, done. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Immediately gets the underhook. Oh, she landed a flush knee there, DC. Her opponent doesn't want to eat too many of those. You can see her opponent because she felt that. She really felt that knee. Holmes in half goal. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Ooh, arms in tight. Oh, how about that? She gives up on the submission now. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back, as, and I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. And now she's in mouth. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control, underhook, and getting back to your feet. Under a minute now to go. Oh, big head kick there. That hook was bad. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Well, seemingly, even when she gets her hands up, a lot of these strikes are getting through and looks like some swelling on her head areas. I mean, swelling on her head. You know, she's getting beat up. Make no mistake about it. She's taken far too many of these shots. What she oh. needs to do oh. is get active in her defense, make sure that she doesn't get hit with too many shots clean. Because while it may not be bad yet, it's only going to get worse. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round on the wall. All right, here we go with our next round. Two of the best women in this division. We'll see who takes the upper hand. You got to make a decision when you get up off of your stool going to the next round that this is my fight and I am not going to allow it to be my thing. Good straight hand there by Paul. Huge shot by her right over the top. Her opponent in a world of trouble now. Her opponent in a world of trouble. She landed that punch in the exact spot that she needed. Come <laughs> landed clean. Finish, finish. Look for her to throw that overhand again here. Oh, nice inside kick. with the left there. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Tonight, you see the result of all the time spent kicking during training camp. Oh, that one landed, yep. 
Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to her way back into this fight. It will be on her to once again land one of those brutal punches to try to knock her off the side. 30 seconds to go in round two. Nice pass. Oh, nice. 10 seconds to go in the round. Rousey's back inside control here. Good round. All right, so we do get to the horn, so somewhat surprisingly, this fight is not over, given that she rocked and stunned her opponent multiple times there in the previous round. She is so good at finding the shots that really does hurt you. It's not the ones that stand out to you. It's those sneaky little attacks right. that she is so good at landing that can really, really hurt you, as we saw in the previous round. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she Great just fight. did, but also Great. top it and actually get the finish? Third round underway. Can you believe she is able to keep up this output just as she did in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes here and not slowing down whatsoever? She looks like she could go 10 hard fives if need be tonight. Strong straight left there. Well, she did not miss there. She's been looking for it and she finally got it. And now she's going to see if she can close the night. Well, Rousey's trying for a submission here. Oh, man, it's getting deep. Fight IQ on full display. This young lady recognized the sub wasn't there, so she kept the dominant position. And now she has her back. All right, side control for her now. And you know how heavy she stays with all of that upper body strength. We'll see what she can do from here. Well, she's got great upper body strength, and that's why she passes, because she doesn't necessarily feel she needs the legs to control her opponents on the ground. So she goes to side control and hopes that you give your back. That's right. why you see she has so many rear naked choke submissions. I would never give you my back. Don't give me that. Attempting a choke now. It's in there deep. There you go. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. And there it is again. Her opponent has not had anything resembling an answer for these ground strikes. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. Oh, and how about that? They make their way back to the feet. Crowd going crazy. What a moment for these two. Athletes. The crowd is losing their mind. While they like the grappling, they love a good stand-up fight. Swing and a miss by Rousey. Oh, more of the same. She lands again, and the swelling continues to increase on her opponent. Man, she's so fast. She's so good at targeting certain areas of her opponent's head. And now you see that, st that swelling starting to advance. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Right here, you got to empty the gas tank, John. You got to just go forward and let everything fly. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Well, Rousey's nose is bleeding now. Look, oh, outstanding job by her there to change levels and get this fight to the ground. What do you guys call that, an ankle pick? I mean, that's an ankle pick. There's a lot that goes into it for her to execute it in a fight. Amazing. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. Well, I'm just not sure how many more strikes she can take to that swollen area as they attend to her. We'll get you some replays. Not many, J.A. She's in trouble. It's damaging, and every time another one lands, 
on that type of swelling, it fight. feels like a Ready. jolt of lightning Good. through your face. She has got to move her head. She's got to be proactive in her defense so she's not taking too many shots. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Man, she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, she, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicep. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work because the more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get moving. Back and forth we go. She lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Big punch lands through the middle. Let's go, circle, circle. Keep that left hand up. Nice job to connect there with the left. Three minutes. Well, she seems to be moving okay, but her calf is starting to show some real damage. But you can tell, every time she gets hit... Her best strike, you don't see this type of power in this weight class. She lands, and she lands. Very effective. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Rousey. She's so fast, so straight, everything. Just perfect. Everything perfect. Every strike, every kick, every punch. Everything's just perfect. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. She gets in very close and gets to the single column. Now she gains some separation. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job. Beautiful straight punch, and now her opponent's firmly on the ropes. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, nice lovely change. Back to the feet now. I gotta think she's gonna go hard in the paint and go for a finish here. I'm just not sure why she is backing off the pedal a little bit. I don't know why she isn't committing herself to finishing this fight. She has done a great job of setting up the attacks that hurt her opponent. She just not has been able to put her out completely. I wanna see what she will change to ultimately end the night. Oh, oh. sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and what a round it was for her. We talked about her power off the top of the show, and she certainly put it on full display there. Power is what identifies her. She got her hands going, was able to land a big shot, got the knockdown, didn't get the finish. But if she's patient, sets everything up again, maybe she'll find the finish in this round. Caution, flammable. That horn signifies the end of the round, and quite frankly, after that knockdown with the head kick, I didn't think we'd get here. It's a merciful horn. We're happy to hear the horn because she was getting brutalized. She was getting beat up to the body, but the big moment was when her opponent took the kick high and knocked her down. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Maybe the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponent's her beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. All right, so watch for her to set up that hook here again. We were in our fighter meeting on Thursday. She said the fans are starting to call her Madam Whitaker. She sees it in the John, she's hurt. She's done. It, it looks like it's over. Big knee to the body. Oh, huge knee to the body. That'll soften her up. Rousey gets tagged by that stiff jab. Well, confidence has never been an issue for her, but I'm not sure she's ever been this confident after getting that huge knockdown in the previous Well, round. she should be. Oh! Oh, hurt finally, yep. Yeah. She hurt. She's getting up, yep. Adjustment protecting what is the only damaged nose. Well, it's 
been a pretty putrid effort out of her tonight, and I should probably put it a little bit softer, but <laughs> she needs a finish, man. She has not fought well, but with her ability to end fights so quickly with submission, she's still in the fight, even if it's just a little bit. Need you to fight back. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Rousey's thigh on the outer part really starting to show signs of bruising here. She has absorbed a lot of leg kicks here tonight. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Rousey. Push kick there to the body. Just misses there with the left. Holmes' nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. Well, she keeps going back to that right hand. This one's not there. Oh. Gotta keep pressing. She's got her hurt. Gotta look for the finish. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Look at the clinch there. Oh, Break she up. goes to the ankle. I don't know if she's doing that because you're in the commentator's booth tonight, but you gotta appreciate that effort. Call me entertained. Anytime I get to see something like that, I applaud it. So she gets the flush knockout here tonight, and you gotta think this is gonna lead to a lot of big fights the rest of the way this year. Big opportunities are presented after you have a performance like this. She did an amazing job and got a massive knockout victory. Get to Bruce Buffer, he has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 44 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout, Holly, the preacher's doctor, home. So your winner tonight, Holly Holm, the preacher's daughter. She